Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So recently we got Rancho a crash tested car crate and that's why in today's video I want to talk about car travel with dogs. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you the crate that we bought but I also want to tell you about other crash tested car crates that I was considering and explain why we eventually bought this particular one. And I'll also talk about how big a car crate should be and at the end of the video I'll share with you what's been one of the hardest things about owning Rancho, something that we still haven't been able to overcome. And I'm hoping maybe one of you could have some advice that could make our lives a little easier when it comes to car travel. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's see our new crate. So after a lot of research, we got Rancho a car crate by a Swiss brand called Four Pets. And they have a pro line that is crash tested, approved and certified by TUV, which is a German product inspection agency. And before buying this Four Pets crate, I was also considering two other crates. The first one was the Vario cage, which I liked a lot, but unfortunately they just don't have a size that would be big enough for Rancho and small enough to fit in the trunk of our car, which was quite unfortunate because if they had the right size for us, I would probably have gotten this one. And the other one that I was also looking into was the Gunner Kennels because I've heard a lot about them, but I didn't find any seller here in Europe. And also for us, a big drawback of this crate was that it's not shaped to fit in the trunk like the others are. And so there was no way we could fit it into our car. So that's why in the end, we decided to go for this four pets crate. 
So I'm just going to tell you a few things about this crate. It's made out of aluminum bars and all its plastic connectors are fiberglass reinforced. So they should be very durable. It has an energy absorbing rear wall. The door just clicks shut. You can easily close it with one hand and you can lock it with a key as well. And we also got a scratch guard that protects the bumper against scratches because you know, my husband loves his car a lot. Uh, the crate comes with fixing straps and it doesn't rattle or move when you're driving. And all in all, I think it's worth the money. It costs around 450 euros. So it's pretty costly, but I mean, if you want a quality product, you have to be willing to pay a little extra. There obviously are cheaper car crates, but they're usually not crash tested. And I think it's definitely worth investing in something a little bit safer. And it wasn't even that hard to put together. It took us about 20 minutes the first time around. Unfortunately, the first one that we got was a little too small for Rancho. So we had to exchange it for the next size up, which is a much better fit for him. It's the L size and it's probably the smallest I'd recommend for a dog of Rancho's size. Rancho is a pretty big dog. His height at the shoulders is around 65 to 66 centimeters. And I'll give you the crate's dimensions here somewhere on the screen. So, and when I was choosing the right size, I exchanged a few emails with the manufacturer and this is what they had to say about how big a car crate should be. So what they said was the principle is as little space as possible and as much as necessary, which means that the dog should only be able to sit, lie and rotate. It is recommended that two to three of the side walls are touched by the dog. The more freedom of movement is granted to the animal, the greater the risk of injury from accidents or abrupt braking maneuvers is. So at first I was a little worried that not even the L size would be big enough for him to lay down comfortably because the first few times he would just sit in the crate slouched, you know, but after a few rides, he learned to lie down. He still doesn't love the crate, but the reason isn't really the crate itself, it's the fact that he hates car rides. Which actually brings me to the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. The big problem that we've been dealing with all Rancho's life. And it's the fact that he has motion sickness and that's why he hates car rides. Uh, when he's in the car, he often throws up and he always drools a lot. Now that he's older, I feel like it has improved, but just a little bit. Uh, and there are times when he doesn't throw up, but it just, it doesn't mean that he's feeling good. So for instance, if we're driving on a highway and there are no traffic jams, he can be in the car for four hours and be fine. But once we leave the highway and there are a lot of bends and, you know, or we're in a traffic jam where you're always accelerating or decelerating or when the road is bumpy, he almost always throws up if the ride is longer than 30 minutes. We've been told many times that he's going to outgrow this, but so far it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. We try to help him as much as we can. We don't feed him before traveling. We make frequent stops. We've even tried some pills and we still don't know how to help him. So if any of you have any experience with it or have recommendations on what else we could try, please let us know in the comments. We'd be eternally grateful if we were able to make Rancho more comfortable during car rides. It's really hard watching him suffer like that. Anyway, guys, I'll leave a link to the crate in the description of this video if you're interested in that. And also I'll link the other two crates that I was considering. And let me know what car crate or what system you use when traveling with your dog. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time.